so this is my video on filling out an Arts Council form for a grant of under 15,000. Okay, so number one, okay, remember this form is not an exam. You don't have to fill it out in one go. You can fill it out in bits. But, and this tip is gold, always press save. I'm going to say that. When you fill in part of the form, press save. But do not press submit. No, 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 no. Don't press submit until you're actually ready. Okay. So, next thing. I decided because I got rejected for an Arts Council grant for a project called Portsmouth Plugged In. And one of the criticisms they put was that it wasn't clear enough. And I think part of that was because I was writing what I thought they wanted to hear in quite a flowery, artistic way. No. Don't do that. Be as clear as you possibly can. You do not get a lot of words. There's a word limit on each answer. So be clear, be concise, write in bullet points. Do you know, what do you want? I want time to write. I want um, money, a living wage, while I'm writing so I don't have to work um, as hard teaching children and uh, performing. I want a mentor who can encourage me, give me professional advice, be really absolutely clear. Okay, um, even though this is time to write project, it is still a project. It should have a beginning, a middle and an end. You need to know what your project is, how much time it's going to take you, how much money it is going to take. Right. So if you register, look at the form, and I mentioned in my other video that I got a um, diary to work out how much time things was going to take me, so I knew where I wanted to be at various points. Um, I decided um, that I would need to, to be paid for a day and a half each week. Um, I decided how much I would need to pay. Um, one of the feedbacks I, um, I got from uh, my letter of support from an agent was that she recommended that I actually um, went and visited the places I was writing about. So I went and found the cheapest accommodation I could and I put it all in. And I'm really add it up. Now, if you are tight like me, as that money is adding up, you might get this feeling of panic thinking, I can't ask anybody for that much money. Um, you, you've got to be realistic. You can't cut corners and say, oh, you know what, I'll, I'll do that for a fiver or things like that. Work it out properly and try not to panic. You can do this, honestly. Okay. Um, you can get help. Get help with your application. So when I first printed out the guidelines and I read the guidelines and I phoned up the um, Arts Council to answer questions, but you can also get help with somebody filling out the form. So um, the first put lady I asked to help me was lovely and passionate and fantastic, but she had got her money... Um, I, I, um, part of her money and her grant um, because she had a disability and because she knew that I've got some sort of health problems um, she was eager to put that in now th this is why we have to have a parting of the ways everybody writers like to get validation and the biggest validation you can get is obviously the publishing contract okay I've got lots of non-fiction um, published but I want the fiction book that is my goal and I felt that getting an Arts Council grant would be another way to give me that validation as a writer right? I, I, I didn't want to get uh, money because I, I needed 
help um, physically or mentally. I wanted to be taken seriously as a mentor. Right, okay, that was vitally, vitally important um, to me. And she was also feeling that I wasn't at a point in my career where I could ask for a time to write grant. Lots of people said, oh no, you'll never get time to write um, grant. And I thought, I'll either do it my way or the I way. So that didn't work out. So then I found another lady who would help me with my forms. Her name is uh, Ber Bernie Burns. And um, she is an awesome lady and she was extremely helpful. She was basically said, go away, have a stab at the forms, fill in as much as you can, then come back to me with questions you're stuck on and um, I'll help you understand those sort of questions to do with audience and, and money and things like that. And I did that and then she read it over and even though I thought I was speaking really clearly and precisely, she just, you know, it's just somebody else being able to sort of look at that and think, oh, you can make that clearer, you can make that clearer. She was an enormous help and support to me. This is the thing, there is help out there. You are not um, alone. So if you need help, get help. Okay, right. Just like anything else, Fill out the form, don't press submit straight away, fill out the form, come back, edit it, uh, fill out the form, you can print out the form, you can read it with a cup of tea and have a look over it, don't rush it. Okay. When you are completely and utterly happy, go to bed and then the next day have a glance over and then you press submit. Now this is the really good thing about the Arts Council because what they do is then they will look at the form and in two weeks they will come back and they will say to you, ah, we can't process your application because you've done this wrong or you've done that wrong or you've not included a letter of support or what have you. Luckily, because I was working with Bernie, um, it went through absolutely right away. Another little thing um, that you might need to know, which is useful, um, it is also a good idea um, to set up a bank account, and you need to do this even while you're applying the form, or filling out the forms, to set up a separate bank account um, in your own name, um, just have a pound in it, um, so that you can put those sort of details in um, your form. You can't use a joint account, there's certain accounts that you can't use and um, yeah, yeah, get that done in the beginning. I sort of had a bit of a problem with that. I felt like, oh, I set up a, a bank account, will I be tempting fate? Will they not take me on board? Do it. Have a go. Okay, so I hope these two videos have been really useful. Um, please feel free to subscribe to find out how it goes, you know what I mean? I'm sure there's going to be highs and lows over the next year. I'm hoping for more highs. Um, thanks very much for watching. Good luck. Have a go.